I'm Anthony Satani with Metropolitan Carliner. In today's episode of Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk about Evo Made Easy. So to begin, every Evo fixture starts with the same four pieces. A towel, a screw, a pin, and a collar. So once we learn how to put these four pieces together, it's a matter of simply changing what adapter goes on top. So the first piece is going to be the locking collar. There's two flat sides. They're going to line up inside your cow. Next, I'll take my adjusting collar. You can see the egg-shaped hole. So I can hold that offset and allows me to slide up and down until I find the right height. So here, my screw has two flat sides as well that we want to try and line up with the locking pin. Once I get to the right height, the locking collar engages into the screws, and the snap ring holds it down. Last but not least, I put my adapter on the top. So once we have the tower put together, it's simply a matter of grabbing any one of these pieces, or maybe a combination of parts, of how we're going to attach the tower to the vehicle. Uh, we may need to change the height of the tower. You can see we have towers in all different sizes, um, all the way up to here, and even some larger ones than that. So, attaching the Evo to the machine. We're going to start by grabbing a track plate, bringing it over to the bench. So once we have the tower assembled, we've gone ahead and installed the track plate on the bench, and we can drop the tower into the track. Cam lock secure the track plate, allowing us to go front to back, or side to side. The screw allows us to come up and down as well. So in this case, we're just going to set up a simple block to hold the rail from moving while we try to pull sway out. Coming in here, we can adjust the height. And then tighten up all of our bolts. So EVO 1 and 2 both allow for full pulling force of up to 10 tons to pull against them to prevent parts from moving. In a situation like this, we could be trying to correct a rail that's twisted where we have to pull on the top of the rail to pull it out. Uh, we could be holding a rail so that it doesn't move while we try to pull sway out of the opposite side or holding a rail at a point where it's good so that just the damaged section of the rail moves. So in a case where we'd want to pull out a sway or prevent a rail from moving while we're pulling out a sway, we can preload the fixture. So sliding the fixture up against it, hand tightening the outside bolts, and actually pushing in on the tower, creating a small gap here, allows us to tighten down the bolts. And then when we tighten these inside bolts, we're actually preloading the fixture up against the frame rail. So the minute your pulling chain goes taut, you're moving the damage area of the rail, not loading up the car, not loading up the suspension or the parts, but we're actually pulling damage as soon as it goes tight. So another very popular fixture Another popular fixture allows us to bolt into the bottom of a rail. So by removing this, I'm going to remove the plus shape retainer and we'll introduce a new piece where it's spring loaded but this now allows us to position in any direction we want so rather than having to go here or here we can now go in between. So this teardrop adapter allows me to bolt into the bottom of a frame rail maybe in an engine cradle location or anywhere that we can bolt into the bottom of a rail and that spring-loaded piece allows me to turn this teardrop in any direction. We want to be sure to pull in line with the adapter. So we want to point this the direction that we're going and pull this way. We don't want to pull across the adapter that we're just pulling against the teeth. So in our EVO 1 kit, we have the ability to take this from a vertical bolting position, again like a cradle or something of that nature, and switch it to a horizontal. So maybe we want to bolt onto the end of a frame rail 
or bumper reinforcement location, something like that. This allows me to set that up on the end. So in this case, again, I can turn my adapter. So I can have that face any which way I like. In certain situations, a horizontal or vertical mount may not work where the angle of the floor may be varied. So out of our Evo 2 kit, we're able to pull this adapter in that allows us to angle the piece to match the angle of the floor pan or frame rail that we may be bolting into. We have different size bushings with both different inside diameters and different lengths that can screw in here. And we're matching the diameter of the bolt that goes up into the vehicle and we can also use that to space out if there's any spaces or convolutions in the frame rail that we need to work around by using a longer or shorter bushing. For added support, since we're using such a tall tower, we've added the turnbuckle in. So the turnbuckle gives us extra support, so when we're making a pull that's very high in the vehicle, let's say maybe the rear frame rail of a pickup truck or something like that, we have that additional support so we know we can use our full 10 tons of pulling force. In a situation like this, we're going to build a fixture to mock up a control arm, or in this case a trailing arm bushing where we can fixture into that mounting location. So we have our EVO 2 piece set up. I'm going to use this bushing to mock up the suspension part bushing. And by threading this in or out allows me to mimic the width of the original part. Slide over. Slide that into place. Raise up. pull against that fixture while I know that this part of the frame can't move. We have provisions here if we want to connect our turnbuckle. We know we're doing a heavier pull, maybe something in a diamond situation. But this ensures that that part cannot move while we're pulling or if we were using it to fixture that part in place while we we're making a repair or a replacement. To access the Evo features in your Vision X3 measuring system, you can start by clicking on the colored dots, which may appear in gray or blue. And ones in gray mean we need to remove the part to access the EVO information. Once you see the blue colored dot, you can click on the dot. It will bring up the suggested EVO application for that location on the vehicle. By clicking on the magnifying glass, we can open up the camera, press play, and watch a video of how to put the fixture together. The video can be paused at any time to catch up. Next to the suggested EVO tab, you'll see a tab that says EVO 1 and 2. These are all of your universal EVO fixtures. So if there's not one provided for the location where you're trying to hold, you can sort through the list here by clicking on any one. I can minimize this, come down, and then view the video of how to put that fixture together. In this case, we're working with a pinch weld clamp, grabbing a horizontal flange on a vehicle. We may need that same fixture grabbing straight up and down on a pinch weld flange. So thank you for your time. Check back for another video in the future focusing on our EVO 3 series or fixturing or what some people might call jigging new parts in place. For more information, contact your local distributor or you can visit carliner.com.